it's important to know how to hold your guinea pig correctly um, when you're taking them in and out of your cage so that you don't experience what we did with cheese. It's something that I don't ever want to have have happened to any other guinea pig owner is just too tragic. Unfortunately, she was being handled by someone who was not as experienced as I am, and I take the blame because I should have been doing it, and I feel really guilty about it. But it happened, and I can't change it, and it's just very unfortunate. I, I really want you to know how to handle your guinea pig correctly so that you don't have to experience the same thing that we experienced with cheese especially if they're young like she was. She was only five months old um, and she's very wriggly. So um, it's very important that you have a good grip on them but without hurting them or squishing them. But you wanna make sure that they don't wriggle out of your hands like she did. And we were holding her with this technique. Um, it's just unfortunate she's just so quick and slippery. You know, what coulda, shoulda. This is how you hold the egg. You take, first you wanna hold them like this. You want to put your fingers this finger and this finger around their paw here like this, right? And then you want to support their bum with your other hand. Um, and you always want to try to keep them as flat as possible like this because they're more comfortable. And you want to just give them support and give them, hold them snug without squishing them because you can squeeze them to death and you don't want to do that. That's just terrible. Um, so that's how you hold a guinea pig. Now when you're taking them in and out of the cage, and this is where we went wrong with cheese. Um, it's hard to do this when you're catching them in the cage. You catch them in the cage and you try to do this as best as possible. Um, like this, get a good grip on, on them and then you take them out quickly. And that was our problem too. Um, we were distracted. I was standing here like this holding her and don't do that because they see the cage and they go, oh, I want to go back in and then they'll jump. And unfortunately with cheese, she jumped and fell out of our hands and wriggled somehow up. So just, you know, it all happens so fast, but they wriggle and they conk and then they go like this. And when they conk onto the side of the cage like this, they break their back and that will kill them. And that's exactly what happened to dear cheese. Please hold your guinea pig correctly. Um, like this. Don't wave them in the air and all that. And that's just mean and they don't like that. Now to set them down, you put your fingers around their front paws and then you hold them until they're still. Oh, stay still. Okay, gently, you don't wanna squeeze them too much, but there she's still, so I let her go. And that's how you pick, that's how you um, pick them up and set them down. It's good that they learn not to wiggle when you're handling them. When you have guinea pigs and children around, please don't let the children handle guinea pigs themselves because this can happen. They don't know how to handle them properly. Now, if you, you have um, an older child who's responsible, like a teenager, someone that you trust that can do this, I will leave that to your judgment to determine whether or not that person is old enough and mature enough um, and capable enough to handle the guinea pig. But guinea pigs are really for adults to handle because um, there is so much to con be concerned about for their their safety. Because um, we don't want to hurt them. I heard a lot of stories on the internet. I was researching this, like, do guinea pigs, um, is this something that happens a lot to guinea pig owners? Have they, you know, died on the edge of the cages from jumping? And I could not find anything of that exact situation. Um, but I did see um, threads on guinea pig um, chats um, and in, on websites about uh, guinea pigs jumping and falling and like injuring the heart, breaking a leg, breaking their back, which will kill them and things like that. They should not be jumping much more than just a couple of inches because it's really hard on them you can get hurt so easily and they hide their injuries so well it's just better for their safety to not have them jump if you can help it i know some of you have like i do will have these tunnels and this is you know maybe a good five six inches tall because they will jump on and off of that and that's okay if it's in their cage and if it's in a safe environment but otherwise um 
don't let don't let them jump. It's just not good for them, especially if they're older. You don't want them to get hurt, and you don't want to have a bad experience with your guinea pig. You don't want to hurt them um, because they're living creatures, and they're so lovely and sweet. And we want to be the best caretakers we can. That's what makes us savvy. I mean, we're not perfect, um, but we are. Um, Oh, a little fuzzy, but we're smart to learn and be the best um, guinea pig owners we can be. Um, that's what makes us savvy cabbies, um, because savvy, smart people um, are always learning. They're always trying to do their best and to teach others how to do their best too. Um, it's not always easy, and we are going to make mistakes, um, and it's unfortunate when um, you have to lose a life over it, and I hope that that never happens again to anybody, because um, it's no fun to go through. I'm still grieving. Um, see, that happened on the 6th, and today is the 10th, and every day I still cry. It's just heartbreaking. Um, are we going to get another guinea pig? I don't know. Um, I've already been asked that a lot. I, I really don't know. Yeah. So yeah, Little Peanut hasn't been taking this very well, poor thing. Um, She's kind of lonely. She's really um, was holding the herd of five together. Um, with cheese gone, the other guinea pigs were picking on her so much. She was stressed. She wasn't eating, and she was just hiding, and it was just no fun. Um, so I have separated her. If she gets along with Josie and Fuzzy, then I'll keep them together um, in a cage, and then I'll have two trios. Um, and if not, then I will try getting another baby guinea pig. It's just Hi, really YouTube. Fun. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. My next video will be happier. I'm <laughs> going to show you some pictures of cheese, a little montage. I miss her very much. She was her sweet guinea pig. I'm sad I didn't get to see her grow up. She would have been a beautiful girl. I was hoping that she would be big and beautiful like Josie. Let's remember the good times of cheese. I love her very much. In my heart, she lives on, and I know that she's popcorning free in the fields of hay that the guinea pigs go to on Planet Guinea Pig. And she's with other guinea pigs, and she's happy and free. So thanks for watching.